Hey everybody, Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use a touchscreen for OBS and best practices and how to set it up. Let's get started. All right, so let me show you my touchscreen that I have here. I got a couple different things that I want to talk about. This is OBS 25. Now, OBS 25 has just come out, and there's some cool new things that you should be taking a look at if you're using OBS with a touchscreen. And I think it's just so cool. OBS now at that level 25, uh, I think really has some great features. One of the first things that you can see here is like, look at all these nice little icons. I almost wish that there were like two columns of this in a nice little square. Um, it's not designed for a touch, but look at all these nice icons. This is all in, in OBS 25. It looks a lot better. Uh, one of the other things to think about is the resolution that you're running in because obviously uh, it's easier to use a touchscreen with like bigger text and buttons. So I usually run the touchscreen in, um, in 1280 by 720 resolution. So you can see there's like some black bars on the top and bottom of my tablet, but that's okay because I'd rather have um, bigger buttons and text so it's readable and touchable than I uh, use the entire, I think it's like a, almost a 4K screen. So look at your resolution, set that up. The other thing is if you're gonna use like a Windows tablet, I highly suggest Windows. Uh, OBS does not run on a Mac, but you can see here, I can show this in another, another view here. I have a ethernet to USB adapter. So if you're using a touchscreen tablet or a device that does not have a direct ethernet connection, think about getting one of these on Amazon. They're super cheap. They're like, you know, $10, $15. And it gives you that ethernet connectivity for high quality internet access, but also it builds you that local area network connectivity. So you can use things like NDI with a tablet. So this is awesome using OBS as a, um, you know, with a touchscreen. Couple of the new features. One is we've got a T bar here. So let's use that. Boom. See that T bar, that nice little transition from left to right, that cool T bar effect. The other thing that might not be uh, set up in your system, actually, before I show you that, let me step back, is studio mode. So, studio mode gives you that preview and output modes for your tablet. So that way you can have, you can kind of look at your different scenes and then transition to them in the program and then program and preview switch. That's like a very standard production uh, layout there. So you've got your output and your preview. Now, the other thing that may not be so obvious is if you right click or double or hold and, and touch there, there's this thing called list mode. Now list mode is what it's in by default. Um, so you can just like kind of go through the list, but the new uh, feature is this, this is with 25 is the grid mode. So you can fit more scenes on a touchscreen like this. And obviously, you know, they would be labeled what they are for ease of use. And then you can fit them in there really easily and transition from them. So you can fade, cut, you can add all of your transitions in the middle here. And then the other thing with a touchscreen that I highly recommend, again, this is a new feature with OBS 25 is I'd recommend holding down and locking your volumes. Cause just in case, you know, you're using it and you accidentally, you know, mute something or you have it to a specific level and you touch it by accident, go ahead and hold it down and lock the volume. That's a new feature in 25 as well that I think is going to be really valuable. So final thing here with a tablet is that again this comes in so handy having this ethernet to usb adapter it's a gigabit connection with a usb 3.0 so you can get a gigabit of data into your tablet and a lot of tablets don't have obviously a pcie card an hdmi input or an sdi input or even a lot of usb inputs right so you can use the new tech ndi to bring in various sources so let me show you that really quickly as well so this ethernet this gigabit connectivity can you be used for live streaming out to YouTube and Facebook, but it can also bring in local area network sources. Here's a perfect example here. This is the Huddle Cam HD. I'll show it maybe on this camera. Uh, NDI webcam. This is a $500 webcam that's 4K that just has a single ethernet connection. So you can bring in three, four, five of these directly into your tablet um, and then mix them all with OBS. Now, let me show you how quickly and easily you can bring in an NDI source. So let me just make one new scene. So you can see my new scene there. 
click the plus button. And now I have the NDI plugin added here. So there's an NDI source. Go ahead and click OK. And now this literally, if we click this, this source list here, you can see I've got tons of NDI sources on my local area network. So this tablet can now connect to like hundreds of different video scenes. And we can actually choose to have hard, hardware acceleration. We can choose our bandwidth and we can go ahead and pull in lots and lots of different camera sources. Uh, that is a camera that's upside down. So I'd have to flip that. I can show you that another time. But anyway, that is how it works. So in that way, by connecting over Ethernet, you can connect, you can have four or five, six camera setups all over Ethernet with your OBS system, all just using, I suggest a Windows tablet, but anything that can run OBS. So a Linux based tablet uh, could work as well. Some of the new Android tablets can run Linux, uh, which is making it kind of interesting because Linux is getting some new features with OBS 25 as well, including the browser source input with OBS 25. So there you go. That is how you can use a tablet with OBS and some great tips there for using it and doing so. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have some great new videos coming out on OBS and a lot of other new topics in regards to streaming. That's it for the Stream Geeks. Take care, everybody. Bye.